deja vu. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I'm now flashing back to 2014, 2015, when I had a bunch of scientists telling me solar activity was low, and then later NASA came out and admitted we were in a double peaked minimal solar maximum. I was like, what? Anywho, so yeah, my stance has always been when the sun acts weird, Earth weather acts weird, and then people act weird, and that nobody is master of the sun. I made this video a long time ago saying, dude, nobody knows what the sun is going to do, and that is my theory, and I'm sticking to it, because man likes to think he knows everything, but we don't, man. There's a whole lot about our universe, our solar system, and our inner core, which is like a little star, we don't know. And so, if anybody's trying to be like, I know everything, I know what's going to happen, I know all this shit, they either have a giant ego, they've been lying to themselves so long that they bought it, or they're selling you some bukkake. And I got to tell you up front, I think the sun is a great symbol or metaphor for our Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. And so, though we have gone through a solar minimum that was pretty low, and we're still technically in it, I believe the sun is going to shine again and things are going to improve because it does seem like empires rise and fall on solar minimums and solar maximum. So it's always darkest before the dawn and it's always solar minimums before the boom, boom, boom. And so we've been through some dark times and I believe shit is going to improve. And the people who are like, no, it's just going to be low and it's going to stay low and the sun is going to flatline and Christ is going to flatline. And, um, you know, it's just going to be doom and gloom forever. It's going to be 1999 just in perpetuity, or however you pronounce that word. And so during a time when my hackers are freaking out, um, hey, guess what? Solar Halo CME, a new region with solar cycle 25 polarity at N18. Let's hope this will get promoted to AR12757. In the meantime, it produced an eruption, which counts as activity, with a spectacular large-scale coronal propagating front, which I'm looking at now. Oh, propagate that front, baby. Propagate that front. And so, yeah, I just like to observe and then let you guys know what I think. And I think there are a lot of people who thought they were experts at a bunch of shit, and time proves them wrong. I've been humbled many a times. And, you know, the choices of only, you can either have a carbon tax or you can have a civil war prep for the civil war. I'm going to go ahead and believe that there's a middle ground and we can all work together to improve the world, our science across the board and how we can take data satellites. There's a ton of shit we can do, man. But they're probably also very frustrated because the other day I was at negative $54, but Asteroid Fight Club is amazing. And I thank you for that. Asteroid Fight Club 2020. We're going to shine. I love the sun. It's like magic and it loves us and it gives us light and it gives us warmth and it's incredible. And so, yeah, I'm a big fan of the sun, man. I also love beautiful, smart, strong women and I really need, need to do laundry, but that's not part of tonight's episode. Who loves you? Jesus. Awesome engineer Irene Kiores in images of Lasco C2, the great coronal mass ejection, not earth directed, is observed so yeah man the sun is starting to wake up you know what god gave me for christmas i got two new sunspots on the sun on christmas day and i was like thank you god you're you're amazing it was like a sign of what's to come so yeah i'm betting that we're gonna have a very active sun over the next two to five years and i think we will see solar maximum really pick up by the spring i think we got like one or two more shots of cold coming and we'll have our coldest um, report for this week on Tuesday. And I think it's going to be a hot, hot summer again. But I think it's going to be wild. It's like part of the earth is really hot. Part of the earth is really cold. And it's bobbing around like lava lamps. But look at that, man. I love it. I miss doing edited videos. I wish my hackers would calm down. I mean, geez Louise, if you keep pooping your pants and being crab babies, your wives will probably get tired of it and leave you. And so stop focusing on me. Spend some time with your wife and your damn kids, man. Go have some fun. You know, this is, it's, I don't know. At times, without disrespect to the Church of Scientology, it feels like Grand Solar Minimum is like the Spanish Inquisition version of the Church of Scientology. Oh, man. Hey, just in case it snows again this year in Islip, 
we can now follow along with proper context for, you know, it's not been a major snow year for the majority of places. Although Newfoundland's getting the worst winter storm ever. We got like 10 feet of snow. At first I was afraid and I was petrified, but I'm a survivor. I oh, mean, I went from Gloria Gaynor to Beyonce and gang. Yeah, man, we're going to have fun. There she is. There was the pip pop and that might have sent some activity our way. Watch it go. And then we get our black box, pip pop, bang. There was that. That might be kind of earth directed. I don't know. Was that the one Irene Kiores was talking about? Then there's your black box and you get a filament tear off. Man, this stuff is so fun. And that's the deal. Well, everybody else tries to sound like I'm super science guy. I want to be drier than Bill Nye. I'm like, hey, man, I'm just a goofball who loves telling jokes. And somehow, magically, I hit a bunch of marks on predictions and stuff some of the time. Um, but we all make mistakes. But yeah, the sun is just, it's always been a cool thing. You know, when I started my channel, I wanted to just make joke videos. Somehow, I ended up with the sun. But we get along. I love the sun. And so, yeah, dude, it's going to be a wild ride. 2020 is going to be a wild ride. But hope lives, and I think the sun's coming back strong. You can disagree. It's still free country. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the solar maximum. Now it's definitely going to be more fun than ever. You know? It's going to be fun. And, man, I, I love Astro Fight Club. You guys are utterly, spectacularly amazing. I do hope everybody is having a wonderful, fantastic Sunday night. And I'll put, look at those magnetic filaments flying out. That's just crazy, man. Yeah, let's play that shit again. What? Oh, dang. Yeah, play that again. Play it again, Sam. Did you know back in the old day, they used to require all piano players to be named Sam? That's not true. I made that up for jokes. Now why isn't it running? Oh, man. So I like to edit videos. But yeah, I know the other guys are going through hard times. You know, you can always change your attitude, man. You can always get cooler. You can always have a come to Jesus moment. If you thought about that, that'd be a good idea. But look at those. Yeah, that is a coronal mass ejection. That is a solar bird. That's what I like to call them. And I'm super looking forward to doing edited videos again. Especially with the solar maximum coming. It's just going to be fun, good times. You know what I'm saying? Totally fun, good times. At least I'm freaking out. There's Jupiter, I believe. Look at all that interstellar medium flip-flopping around. Asteroids and shit. And I was joke. Like, NASA's so cool, man. They give us these solar cameras in two different colors. Blue and white. Or black, white, and blue, I guess. Three. Look at that. Yeah, man. So, and remember, I've been doing this for seven years. I have been your big solar fan for seven years. And all of a sudden, like, 20, this cult shows up two years ago and was like, we will rule Thunderdome. I'm like, nah, I don't know. I'm pretty scrappy, man. I'm like, scrappy dude. Sure, you guys get me on the ropes a lot. Yeah, that was a pretty badass CME. But Astro Fight Club and Jesus Christ saved my ass every single time so far. Don't want to get cocky. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Boom, boom, click, click, bang. So, I'm just, man, everybody have a fun night Sunday. I might even, you know, because when I got a contribution in the mail, in the note it said, get yourself some organic food and some beer. So... I don't like to drink alone. I might hang out with you guys. Although both my guitars, which I'm super thankful for, whoever sent me those, by the way, I never found out. Um, Both of my G-strings broke. Why did G-strings break so much? So, but I can play a five-string guitar. If that's your type of thing. Somebody let me know, or I can redo the Book of Revelations. I think we're on book five or six. Anywho, I'm going to do what I can to be here for you guys. That's what I do. And you guys are great. You guys are amazing. I'm so happy. You guys are so fantastic. You know, that's what it is, man. If, if you do a good job, it does. It, pay, it pays off. Maybe not in billions of dollars or 
beautiful women or lots of parties and stuff. But in its own way, I'm glad that I've gone down this road. Look at that. Is that Venus or is that Jupiter? I got to look up at the thingy. Because Venus is usually the one who starts casting ray beams at other things. Oh, yeah, man. I'm getting back. I'm getting my game on. That's probably why they're, they're mad for a lot of reasons. Now that I'm back to editing videos and my sense of humor is slowly returning. And my optimism is like, on fleek, I feel like the drip. Millennials and Gen Z are trying to turn the drip into a good thing. I'm like, eh, I don't know. Usually things that drip aren't that great. Asterisk, you can have a dirty mind if you want. All right, so everybody stay cool, and I will do the same. Peace out. God bless everyone.